یبن زهرا امان زین جدایی الاجل یبن تاها کجایی اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطاهرين Respected scholars, elders, brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله In the discussion of Surah Al-A'raf chapter 7 we've reached paragraph number 7 which is from ayah number 54 to ayah number 58. And Marhum Mir Ahmad Ali gives a title to this paragraph saying that creation and command belongs to God and God alone. And therefore the resurrection also is under God's control and plan. I number 54 says that your true Lord is the one who creates. Ayah 55 says, so therefore pray to him. Ayah 56 says, if he's the creator and the commander and the governor, be careful, don't corrupt and create mischief on the earth. Ayah 57, Ayah 56 also says, pray to him because his mercy is plentiful. Ayah 57 says, you want his mercy? Example, look at the rain. Ayah 58 then says, but when the rain comes down, there are two different responses. Some lands are good, productive. Some lands are sterile, no productivity. Likewise, human societies. Likewise, human beings. This is a summary of that paragraph. Let's look at the details of the ayah. Ayah 54. إِنَّ رَبَّكُمُ اللَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ Human beings normally are attracted to a higher being who is more powerful, who has got control, planning, resources, and they wish to get provision from this higher power. They wish to get protection. It's natural because human beings recognize their own limitations. They can't do everything for themselves. They can't protect themselves from dangers much greater than their capacity. So they look for help from a higher source. The question is, who is this higher source? So Allah says, those of you who don't believe that there is a creator, Allah says, but look at the creation of the heavens and the earth and you will know that the design shows that there must be a designer so there is a creator but this creator after creating has not sat quiet and abandoned the creation to move on autopilot to do whatever it wants it is governed moment by moment by the same creator and this governor this provider this protector is the one who is your true Lord Inna Rabbakum Allah Kwanini Alladhi Khalaqa Samawati Wal Ard. He's the one who has created the heavens and the earth. He can therefore be your true Lord and Master and Cherisher and Nourisher. He's the powerful one. He created from nothing. And incidentally, when he created, he didn't create it instantaneously, though he could. But he created Fi Sittati Ayyam. He created it in a period of six days yawm in the arabic language could be in contrast to night day versus night so that's half a 24 hour cycle or no yawm could be the whole day and night cycle 24 hours or no yawm could be the season the four seasons that we have as mentioned in surah fussilat or no here yawm does not mean a 24 hour or a part of the year no because all of these are dependent on the earth rotating and the earth revolving around the sun. But there is no earth, there is no sun as yet. So what are you calculating according to? Six periods therefore, six days here refers to six periods which could be 
millions, tens of millions, thousands of millions of years. We don't know, the Quran hasn't said so, the riwayah is quiet. The Quran mentions this ayah, the same message, in almost six to seven different places. Scientists, Muslims, go and find out. Find out how long does it take? How long did it take? Is there evidence out there for the birth of stars, for the life of stars, for the death of stars, average size? And then you can figure out how long it takes for different phases of the creation. Thumma. Thumma stawa ala arsh. After creation, he then, uh, different translators say, he then sat on the throne. He settled on the throne. He straightened on the throne. He mounted on the throne. Uh, uh. <laughs> so God is some physical being and the throne is some physical seat on which you require sitting and mounting and settling. No. لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ لَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ there is nothing like unto him. Whatever comes to your imagination is beyond. Your imagination is your creation. It's not the creator. If he is sitting on the throne, it's not literal. It's metaphorical. Meaning that just in like in your societies, you have people in power. And when they want to exercise that power, they sit on the seat of authority, the throne. Metaphorically, therefore, Allah's governance of the universe is being referred to as sitting on the throne. Where you want evidence for how he governs and what does it mean to sit on the throne? Look at the ayah. The ayah continues to say, يُغْشِ اللَّيْلَ النَّهَارَ يَطْلُبُهُ حَثِيثًا وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ وَالنُّجُومَ مُسَخَّرَاتٍ بِأَمْرِهِ and he's the one who makes the night cover the day. And he's the one who makes the night swiftly and quickly and continuously and incessantly seek the day. It's a continuous, regular, repetitive cycle, the day and night. The reference of the night and the day. The alteration, the coming and the going of the night and day is evidence, is sign of God's creation. The accuracy with which the earth is located in reference to the moon, in reference to the sun, and therefore the forces of gravity, and therefore the speed of rotation of the earth on its own axis. A little slower and you have a very long day. You know how, how long is the moon days? 15 earth days. With 15 earth days means the surface of the moon, the daylight temperature on the surface of the moon is 150 degrees centigrade. Slower the rotation and you have boiling temperatures on the earth, life dead. Faster the speed of the rotation and you have too short a night and too short a day. Not enough time for enough heat to be able to reach the earth to sustain life. Just the right force and speed and exposure to the sun. And this continues regularly and they follow each other successively and swiftly. Night follows the day, day follows the night. Everything is moving according to plan and it moves swiftly, smoothly, beautifully. Don't you therefore waste time. Whatever you have to do, be quick in what you must do. Oh, incidentally, it's not only the, the night and the day, but look above, look at the moon, look at the sun. No, 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 look further. Oh, the sun is just an ordinary star. Look at all the stars. All of them, just like the night and day, plan all of the other stars are well planned. 
That's how he's seated on the throne. That's how he's governing. That's how he's controlling. Surely, creation belongs to him and alone. Him alone. Nobody can create. And the command and the control and the governance also belongs to him and him alone. Tabarakallahu. Rabbul Alameen. Blessed is this Lord who is the master, the nourisher, the cherisher of the universe. But man, you are created in such a way that you're limited. We can't have two gods in the universe. Impossible. So anyone other than God must be limited. If you are limited, you are needy. If you are needy, you need to get provisions, you need to get protection. So you must pray, you must ask for help. Lakini, who are you going to ask for help from? The next ayah answers that question. Ud'u rabbakum tadarru'an wa khufya innahu la yuhibbul mu'tadeen Pray for your needs to God and God alone. But you must maintain two states of mind. Tadarru'an, humbly, lowly, desperately pray to Him. Kwanini, there's nobody else who can provide you other than Him. He's the majestic one. Wa khufya, do it secretly, privately. Don't do it publicly, loudly, showing off to others. No, He is the one who is seated on the throne. One of the meanings of him being seated on the throne, he has total control. One of the meanings of total control is he has total access to everyone. He is closer to me than everyone else. Well, what, I need, what do I need to shout for? He can hear me before even I speak. He can hear me even before I speak, when I think he knows what I'm thinking. So why do you want to publicize your prayer do it privately do it in your mind with concentration do it in your heart with submission but he's so close he can answer but he's got one problem he doesn't like some people those who are transgressors sinful disobedient negligent of their duty towards god avoid sins pray to him sincerely and submissively and definitely he will answer. وَلَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ بَعْدَ إِصْلَاحِهَا And don't create mischief and spoil and corrupt and destroy the earth after it has been created in a beautiful, harmonious, balanced way. Allah is all-wise. Allah is all-powerful. Allah is all-knowing. It's impossible for him to create something which is in disequilibrium, imbalance, improper, defective. No. Whatever he has created, there is perfection in that. You human beings have been given the freedom and the choice to be either stewards on the earth, stewards of God, representatives of God, preserving the order and the balance that God has created, or no, you can be mischievous, rebellious, disobedient, destructive, like some of the jinn, like shaitan, and like those humans who have become slaves to the shaitan but it's difficult it's difficult you need help so again Allah says what if you need help pray to him make dua to him ask from him but ask ask him fearfully and ask him hopefully fearful because now Allah has warned you don't spoil otherwise I will punish you I'm afraid of my sinfulness but I'm still hopeful in God's mercy. Kwanini in Rahmatullah Karibum min al Muhsinin. If God is close, God's power is also close to everyone, and therefore God's love and grace and mercy is also close to everyone. All they have to do is to pray. And they have to pray fearfully and asking and hopeful of his mercy and grace and forgiveness and pardon and pray to him submissively and pray to him sincerely and his mercy and reward and support and success is available Ex especially if the person is muhsinin a good doer you doubt about the mercy of god ayah 57 says wa huwa alladhi yursilu ar-riyah bushram bayna yaday rahmati he's the one who sends the wind and the wind becomes a harbinger a herald 
an announcer of His mercy. Mercy meaning rain. Without rain, we don't have the capacity as yet to be able to supply water to everyone from the reservoir of the oceans. The earth by itself, the dry land, doesn't have a source of water. Everything, everything must come from the ocean. Yes, over a period of time, lakes are created and ponds are created and small seas are created inland and there's, there are aquifers underground, but they're all infiltration of rainwater. All rainwater comes from above, all above comes from the clouds, the clouds from the sea. We don't have the capacity to have this mass, massive transportation of huge tons of water from the ocean inward. Don't you think it's happening by nature, naturally, automatically? No. Look at this ayah. He is the one who sends the wind. He is the one who makes the clouds carry the water. He is the one who makes the clouds move to particular lands. He is the one who makes the cloud deposit their burden of water. And then as a result, number five, this dead land suddenly comes to life. And a variety, a diversity that you could not imagine of fruits, of plants, of flowers, of seeds are created. Catholic, so do you doubt the mercy of God? It's working every day. Do you doubt the mercy of God is near everyone? All you have to do is pray. كَذَلِكَ نُخْرِجُ الْمَوْتَى لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ And likewise, incidentally, if we have the power to give life to the dead earth, to become alive, so also we have the power to give life to the dead universe at the end of its term. كَذَلِكَ نُخْرِجُ الْمَوْتَى لَعَلَّكُمْ تذكرون. And these are signs to remind us, to um, alert us, to make us heedful that creation has got a purpose. Oh, incidentally, we're talking about rain. When, when rain comes down, you know what happens? Some lands are productive, some lands are unproductive. So Ayah 58 says, وَالْبَلَدُ الطَّيِّبِ يَخْرُجُ نَبَاتُهُ بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِ And the good land, fertile land, productive land, when the rainwater comes from above, you find a lot of produce by the plan of God and by the permission of God. In contrast, وَالَّذِي خَبُثَ The land which is خَبِيث The land which is impure or inferior or sterile or salty لا يخرجوا إلا نكدا. It doesn't give any produce one, or if it gives a produce, it's weak and little too. Or if it does give produce more, it's useless. Three, it's non-productive at all. Kwanini, oh, God is to blame. He is the one who did not make it make it germinate. No. Allah says the rainwater is pure, the rainwater is life giving, the rainwater revives the dead. How come this land gave life and this one did not? The reason is inside this land there is the capacity to receive and to give. In this land there is no capacity to give. It receives, yes, but there are too many obstacles for the germination and for new life to be supported. Likewise is the example of human beings. Rain is physical. Allah gives spiritual guidance all the time. Some hearts, soils are receptive and submissive. Some soils of hearts are sterile, unresponsive. You want an example of this? This is ayah number 58. Beginning from ayah 59, 60 onwards till 170. More than 100 verses is the story now of the productive versus the unproductive soils of the heart. Prophet Nuh was sent to a people, Prophet Adam, Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Musa, Prophet Hud, Prophet Salih. What did they say? How did they bring their life-giving, spiritually reviving guidance from God? And what was the response from them? 
كذلك نصرف الآيات لقوم يشكرون This is how we keep on repeating and explaining and changing our different messages to be able to convince everyone low minds, me medium minds, high minds those who think more with their hearts, feel with their hearts, those who want visual examples, those who want miracles, those who want illustrations, those, those who want parables, those who want deep logical reasoning, those who want historical examples. We present all the variety of messages. Lakini, who will take heed? Those who are cognizant, those who are seeking the truth, those who want to be thankful, those who appreciate and those therefore who submit let's pray to allah for tawfiq assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah